on this channel we only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Alright guys, welcome back to another segment. You know the way we normally do it and I'm always here to give you guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Yes, um, Ben Chilwell will be out for two months. We thought it was going to be a one month something but after the scanning and everything, it has been finalized that he will be out for two claim months. That means he will be out for the month of October, November and he will be coming back by December. By December, he will be coming back, and that is a very bad one for us. But anyhow, we go manage, we go learn to adapt, and it's very bad that having two captain out, two of our captain no way, two of them in the hospital, the main captain and the vice captain, which is James and Ben Chiwe, the two of them are not feeling fine. But I just hope that Chiwe will come back fast i i wish him a speedy recovery but even at that too we know so we'll see they play our games and again um that same december a lot of players will be coming back the likes of christopher Nkunku should be back by then um but the shield before then we should be back and chaloba chukwe maker already chukwe maker is training with the guys but the shield is training but when i say come back means they should start playing football you understand even when boja came back self he did not just carry and put for match he still got to the train they put himself in order before you see him for pitch that yesterday you understand even against brighton so you get me so it's a gradual process but believe me all these players that are are in the injury room very soon they'll be back as for wesley fufana He's a very fantastic defender. He's a very good defender. We, we, I don't say we they feel to talk about that guy, but he's a very fantastic defender. Just that injury, just they mess that guy up. They mess him up seriously. That guy never played better 15 matches for Chelsea. Take it or leave it. That guy has not played 15 clean games for Chelsea. You understand even when he tried to play like this before you know it injury go hit him the other way he tried this uh, injury go hit him but i just believe that by next year he should be back you understand but any at if the field one to he come back on time so it will be good you understand so all the same ben Chiwe will be out for two months and chuke maker chaloba and badishu should be up front before the ending of this month you understand him alongside there is james too they should be up front before the ending of this month. Then, talking about the league table, finally we are on, we are eleventh behind Manchester United. Manchester United are tenth position. Chelsea are eleventh position, and that means um, we are just one point below Manchester United. If you are to go to the league table, because Manchester United are nine points and Chelsea are eight points. You understand so then the people topping let's say from sixth to ninth we have bright in sixth position western seventh nicholas two eight crystal palace nine checking the point brighton is having 15 points western is having 13 Newcastle is having 12 and crystal palace is having 11. and if you check very well if chelsea should win all of their game this month definitely we should be finding ourselves around sixth and fifth if i'm not mistaken because definitely you no know, go toss your other clubs go lose you understand other club like bright enough you lose their remaining three straight games it's not possible or you go say maybe liverpool lose their three uh, remaining straight game no they possible you understand so um chelsea playing four tough games this month after all we don't clear fulham we won fulham yesterday 2-0 now our next match will be Burnley, and that one soon as as the away game and that game will be will be played on saturday this week saturday Burnley. so let us see what chelsea can do because even Burnley they play luton town today they are playing luton town today so let us see what will happen if Chelsea can do the needful just the way they did to Fulham, if Chelsea should beat Fulham, if Chelsea should beat Fulham, and let's say Manchester United there is no win, or let's say Manchester United anyhow, because nothing concerns me concerns Manchester United or any of them. If Chelsea should win, any club will drop point for up here, either Crystal Palace or any of them. Chelsea will be going up to ninth position ninth position because if chelsea win we will get 11 points 
you understand Chelsea should win, get 11 points then in case of any other team again drop points from seven and eight if Chelsea should win their next match which is against Arsenal which I know is not going to be that easy I know that that is one game that everybody is waiting for to use and clarify Chelsea to know if Chelsea is really ready for this season you understand two games with me and one use clarify Chelsea this season you see this Arsenal and Tottenham not even Man City Man City, I know they two what look Man City side, you understand? But you see, Chelsea and I, I mean Arsenal and Tottenham, those are the two games I want to use and clarify my team. After all, we played Liverpool in the opening of the season, and you people saw what we played. You understand? So if we play Arsenal, if we can get a win from Arsenal, that means we should be around 14, 14 points, and we should be around seventh get don't don't get me wrong we should be around seven in case any team drop or west Ham or Newcastle, any of them drop points then if Chelsea should win their last game and that would be against um if i'm not mistaken if you have to check those people that would be against brentford chelsea brentford brentford is a very tough side because brentford have been playing very good football this period brentford are 14th position behind fulham and they are seven points if Chelsea should beat brentford then we should be around fifth and fourth. You understand? And if anything will make Chelsea enter top four, read my lips. If anything will make anything will make Chelsea enter top four, read my lips. It will be very difficult for them to come down. It will be very difficult for them to come down. Remember, I told you guys one thing that anything Pochettino is doing this season. They have already given him the frame. They have already given him the, the work, everything he wants to know. That anything that you are doing, make sure that we qualify for the Champions League. That is the aim. Nothing more, nothing less. We are not aiming to win the trophy. We are not aiming to win the Premiership or anything. But the main aim is that let us qualify for the UEFA Champions League next season. If Chelsea qualify for Champions League next season, it will bet me Thiago Silva will not leave Chelsea next season. Instead, they're going to find we give him an extra one year if he performs very well this season. After all, he has been doing well. He's our number one when it comes to that defense area. You understand? When it comes to the defense area, he's our number one. So if Chelsea should qualify for the FA Champions League, that's the way I feel. I feel say Thiago Fisti sign extra one year with us to play that champions league you get me don't get me wrong go no to, i know i know you are from anywhere but they tell you based on the way i feel so that is the goal this is and also apart from being in the top four caraba cup fa cup one of them we suppose whole one whole and strong like this make no say we did top four see whole trophy come out for the season you understand if chelsea can do that for us this season guy <laughs> Anything they want to do for transfer, and so we go there. Anything they want to buy, they no consign us. As far as we know, players they wait there already. We know what they feel do. Anyone they want to add, they no consign us again. Just like waiting with the year now. Say this is January, they no go sign children again. We wait with the year. Say they go sign at least experienced players. They go come in by January, and the experienced players them. No, we just say they go sign like bulky players that is do others and uh, transfer market. At least one, two, three. Highest three key players, and that is all. And nobody said they will sign children come experience foods. They're not going to sign born 2006. Any player will go here born 2006 now alone. They need to sign and make the come keep on alone. They the loan amount. You understand? Then a lot of people have been talking about um Romeo Lavia deal was not necessary. I saw that in one of these tweets. One of these Twitter guys he was talking about Lavia. He said that signing Lavia was not necessary when we have the likes of Santos and Ugochuku. And if you look very well too, it can't be like say no being day necessary. But any asha will not be no say Leslie go day that good. And again, we may get that impression say Leslie go go. And this thing loan, you understand? We know we know say Pochettino go still make use of the guy for Chelsea because right now we have Galaga, we have Enzo, we have Moses Casado, we have Leslie Ugochuku. You see the four of them. See as they now we have Santos, which definitely they must bring back that boy. That boy, Nottingham Forest, no they help him. We have Santos and Lavia to go come. And Cesare Cassidy will come, will get about seven midfielders. 
You understand? And you cannot play the seven of them one time. You can't play them, all of them, at once. You understand? So, I don't know. You guys should put your mouth in this state, in this uh, matter. If it was really necessary for Chelsea to sign Lavia or not. But for me, I'm okay with it. They sign them or they not sign them or anyone with them. As far as I say, you go make my club go far. I am okay with it. Just that since he did this injury and he never come back, we never see qualities and we never see waiting if he really offer for the club. Until we see him do something, now we will know the essence why we sign and come. You get me? So, now the matter with the ground with that. I know it's one of the reasons why Posh been really pushed for that guy now because of in height, in get height. So, Posh is fine with inside the midfield area and get in the, in the fine midfielders to wake, try get height. You understand? So, then in ter- terms of nodding on other area ball con- uh, contesting, saying if we do all those ones too. So, now one of the reasons because Lavia get height, if not that one. So now the matter with the ground be that. So guys, um, do it to drop your thoughts and also I will not fail you guys this time around. Tomorrow we will be going live. Tomorrow, I will not fail you guys. Everything has been arranged. We will be going live tomorrow. You people will come and talk your mind from the Brighton match down to the Fulham match yesterday, down to the match we have on Saturday. Tomorrow being Wednesday, we will do everything. You understand by 9 p.m i know say if i go live some of some of you will be watching the champions league so let's say by 9 p.m we should go live and talk about all these things that i've said so far so unless i forget um chelsea are still putting pressure on i am messing on signing a new contract for the club you understand they see they put pressure for anybody to see if you go see sign the new contract within the offer ramp. So we could just watch if truly, truly I am missing will sign that contract with Chelsea or not. So guys, that'll be all for now. Do it to like the video, share share your thoughts at the comment section, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters. Thank you very much for watching.